So good morning, we have arrived in Italy, that is the view that you just saw. So it's always nice when you arrive somewhere at night and you wake up the next morning you realise that you've got a bit of a stellar view outside of your window. Uh, but we haven't got time to mess around today, we're going to go and head up and meet up with Stefano Gisolfi at his house, who lives here, he's a climber for Epic TV. And then we're going to go and plan out a day of filming with him. And then, I don't know, see what we can get up to. It's a pretty amazing place. We try and get the drone up, etc. So we are checking out that hotel. We're checking into another hotel tonight. <laughs> So we've arrived at what we think is Stefano's house and uh, we're gonna go and try and find him. So we're gonna quickly film a little interview in Stefano's flat um, and then we're gonna head out to the crag and film with him there. So we've got two videos to do, one for this company called Vertical Life, who do topos for climbers and another one is just like a climbing daily, talking to Stefano about what he's been up to. Welcome to Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Just say hey, if you go. But don't worry. Yeah. Hey, so we have finished. Uh, almost one more shot to do with Stefano in here, and then we're heading out to the crag. It's gonna be good. Thanks to see right now, Matt. I haven't had enough coffee, so I'm a little bit grumpy, like a little bit angsty, you know, like. So first up after this, get coffee. Yeah. Yo, so, how'd it go? Yeah, good, all good. Didn't crash it, always a bonus. What are you looking for when you do these, these drone shots? What kind of shots? Uh, just nice big kind of sweeping dramatic things, uh, like big kind of tip, tilt, tilts up following a car coming through and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That kind of works. Nice. So all day yesterday, we, I said, right, we've got to get double A batteries, got to get double A batteries, got to get double A batteries on the way down. And we forgot. So we just managed to get through that first bit of, uh, Mike is on. First bit of uh, filming with the batteries that we had, but now we need batteries. So Matt is just has just gone to get the batteries and a coffee, quickly had a bit of lunch at Stefano's. Um, and we're now gonna head up and watch him. We're gonna basically do have like a setup where I'm gonna go up on the rope, I'm gonna get my harness on, but I'm gonna be able to ab in from the top of the, the route and then Matt is gonna sit at the bottom and he's gonna be on a tripod getting kind of long shots. The route he's trying is super difficult. Um, so it's gonna be really, really cool to, to see how he kind of goes about doing it. It's like a project at the moment, which means that they basically go up and, and they work it in stages. He's gonna try it, go up and try it. Uh, it's been cool to kind of see how he does it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna be shooting for Climbing Daily, but I'm gonna take this camera up as well. Um, see if I can kind of get a bit of dual thing going on. But yeah, looking forward to it, it's gonna be cool. Success. No coffee. No coffee? Red Bull. Get it good? Mm -hmm. So we just filmed with Stefano doing the first little bit. Now we're onto the main crag where the 9B is. 9A or plus or 9B? Well, he's going to try 9A plus. Yeah. And then there is a 9B and there's maybe a 9C. So he's going to try 9A plus, and there's a 9B and maybe a 9C. It also may not be a 9C. It's uh... 
So we're walking to the crag. It's about 10 minutes walk. It's beautiful. There's a long 10 minute walk in. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Ten minutes my ass. Especially in this jacket. Should we take it off? So me and Matt have just had a touch at. We thought the best option would be to stick him up there. And then I'm going to be down at the bottom getting shots on the Ronin. Um, otherwise you have to like zoom, uh, rappel in and stuff like that. It gets a bit complicated. So we're going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Two cameras. He's getting the kind of higher shot long lensy across. I'm kind of getting the wide from the bottom. Let's see what happens. Ciao, ciao. Stefan is just having a little bit of warmth on the route. I mean, he's going to go for the main one. Probably not going to show much of it in this, but if I do, here's a little bit. Um, but yeah, it'll be coming out. The fillet will be coming out of climbing daily soon. So if you get to see it, if you, uh, if you tune in there. But yeah, got to get to it. Has he got the slightly more glamorous job of filming from high up? This is definitely just pointed out this was on his route. That was a quick draw. <laughs> That's the colour it was 20 years ago. And we just had to replace it with his own bolt, with his own quick draw, because that is not great. Maybe I'm lucky you didn't quite go down today, but uh, soon, yeah? I hope we will send it soon. I hope to. So we're done. Stefan didn't quite make it, but I think he's going to come back on Sunday. We might not be able to make it. We're now walking out. Stefan didn't manage it. He had three goes. And they're pretty bloody hard. So we're going to head back now and get my boy some food. campsite um and i was just gonna i was just thinking like so basically he didn't put that on. 
he didn't he basically didn't uh get it and it's just quite interesting after having done it with adam where he did it first time it just kind of shows you how like when you go cl cl film and climbing for a day it's just you never know what you're gonna get and anyway this time we got him trying it three times didn't get that high because it was so bouldery at the bottom but uh yeah it was, it was a cool deal nonetheless just to kind of spend with him and and kind of work out his process and stuff like that and well, not work it out but like witness it and, and stuff like that and see the difference in the way that he approaches something and and Adam approached it and it, whether it was on site or whether it was um uh whether it was like a project but anyway yeah it was a it was a good day and now we're gonna get some food because I'm hungry bye